Hello everyone and welcome back to Dynamics Academy. This is yet another video in a feature a day video series. In this video series we will cover the new features that were released with Microsoft Dynamics 365 9.0 version. On your screen you are able to see the various new features that were released in 9.0 version of Dynamics 365. We will see each of these feature in detail per video in this series. And at the same time we will also see the various deprecations that are going to happen with Dynamics 365 9.0 version release. So this series is going to be very much useful and informative. So let us now see the feature that we are going to cover in this video. In this video we will see a new feature that was announced with Dynamics 365 version 9.0 which is security updates. My name is Abhishek Doria and I will be your host in this video. Let us now start this video without wasting much of your time after this short intro. As far as the agenda is concerned, I will first give you an overview about this change. Then we will see what is TLS. After that, we will see what exactly is changing. We have seen that we will cover how you or your customers might be impacted due to this change. And then we will begin our practical demos. First, I will show you what kind of problems you might face by simulating the problem. And then I will give you two possible workarounds for the same. That means problem resolution and in the end i will give you the list of useful references so recently microsoft has announced that in dynamics 365 online version 9.0 and higher as well as dynamics 365 online government version 8.2 and higher they will begin requiring connections to customer engagement application to utilize tls 1.2 for better security this aligns with the updated microsoft and industry security policies and best practices and you might be required to take actions to maintain connectivity to your Dynamics 365 customer engagement application. So in nutshell, Microsoft is applying this update for better security of online Dynamics 365 customer engagement applications. Let us now first see what is TLS. TLS stands for Transport Layer Security and is a protocol that is an industry standard designed to protect the privacy information communicated over the internet. And TLS is used in many web browsers and applications that communicate, that communicate over HTTPS and TCP protocols. TLS has two layers. The first one is TLS record protocol, which provides security. And the next layer is TLS handshake protocol, which allows apps to authenticate. The primary goal of TLS protocol is to provide privacy and data integrity between two communicating applications. And TLS is supported by Microsoft.NET Framework in following ways. .NET Framework 4.0 supports TLS 1.0, while .NET Framework 4.5 and higher supports TLS 1.2, but through a code update. But if your custom application is built in .NET Framework 4.6, then it inherently supports TLS 1.2 by default. So you do not need to make any changes. So having seen that, let us now see what exactly is changing. Today, all Dynamics 365 customer engagement online versions support TLS 1.0, 1.1 and 1.2. Starting with release of Dynamics 365 online version 9.0 and Dynamics 365 online government version 8.2, Microsoft will begin blocking connections to updated product from the client or browsers that are using TLS 1.0 1.1. One thing you need to note here is that this change only affects for Dynamics 365 online customer engagement application. It is not for on-premise versions. Let us now see how it will impact you or your customers. So all supported browsers for Dynamics 365 customer engagement currently complies with TLS 1.2 standard and will continue to work as before. However, 
if you have disabled the tls 1.2 protocol on your browser then you will be affected and lose connectivity to your organization so what it means that if you are connecting to your dynamics 365 customer engagement application through any of the supported browser then by default you will be able to connect to dynamics 365 customer engagement applications because all the supported browsers comply with tls 1.2 protocol but however if you have manually disabled tls 1.2 protocol on your browser then you will not be able to connect to your dynamics 365 online instance if you want to validate if your browser is supporting tls 1.2 requirements or not you can go to this validation test page and and see if your browser is supporting tls 1.2 or not i'll put this link in the description box as well but if you are connecting to your dynamics 365 version 9.4 instance through port then then you might face some of the challenges here so if you are connecting to dynamics 365 by online instance through port then you need to recompile your client applications using dotnet framework 4.6.2 or higher if your code is already compiled with dotnet framework 4.6.2 or higher then there is no action required from your end and your existing plugins and workflow assemblies still continue to work in 4.5.2 and without any changes or you do not need to recompile your plugins or work custom workflow assemblies project because in plugins and custom workflow assemblies you do not write any connection code to your dynamics 365 instance connection still happens through the browser so let me now show you a demo of how you might face this problem practically this is a simple console application which is having a program class and let me now show you that the target framework of this program or this console application is dotnet framework 4.5.2 and this is my trial instance let me now show you the current version of my trial instance as well so you can notice that the current version of my trial instance is 9.1 in the main method of this program i am simply calling another method called problem reproduced by passing a string parameter called connection string and in this method problem reproduced i am simply connecting to my dynamics 365 organization using a connection class and i am simply retrieving the current version of my dynamics 365 instance so this is pretty much simple code to connect to your dynamics 365 instance so let me now run this program you notice that i'm getting some sort of error running this program but let me now do a simple change what i'm doing i'm simply changing the target framework from 4.5.2 higher than 4.6.2 i don't have dotnet framework 4.6.2 installed in my pc but i have 4.7.2 which i'm using as a target dotnet framework so i change the target framework and i'm simply rebuilding this application you can see will succeeded and i'm running this program so now you notice the same code is working without a single line of code change by simply changing the target framework now it has given me the current version of dynamics 365 so this is one way of overcoming this problem you see simply recompile target framework 4.5.6 or higher but let us say i don't want to do that i'm simply reverting back the dotnet framework 4.5 and what i am doing this time is i am calling another method which is problem resolution i am passing the same connection parameter and this is the problem solution method the code for problem solution and problem reproduce is exactly the same 
accept this line i have added a one line of code before connecting to my dynamic 365 instance which is i'm adding the security protocol which is tls1.2 so i have simply added one line of code extra to the previous code which is problem reproduced and i'm again running this program so you can now see that this program is also successfully ran in dotnet framework 4.5.2 so these are the two probable workarounds in order to resolve this problem so having seen this solution let us now also see the list of useful references that might be useful to you if you want to find more information about this change we'll put all these links in the description box as well on that note i wind up this video and take your leave i thank you for watching this video till the end so if you have learned something new out of this video then please like share and subscribe to dynamics academy and also do not forget to press the bell icon so that you will never miss any update whenever we release a new video in to our dynamics academy youtube channel so on that note i take your leave and hope to see you all in the next video till then bye bye and take care